Hi everyone, in this video I'm going to show you how I use a React Profiler in order to improve the performances of my React applications in order to detect where improvements are needed. I will start with this simple application where I have a header and a main body. Here it is my React application with the header component, a main section and my score counter component. Here it is when I click the score counter button, the score increases, and then I can just simulate a login and a logout. I open the inspector of my browser and I can see that I have these two tabs, component tab and profiler tabs. And by the way, if you don't have this extension installed, it's a React Dev Tools extension, capital letter. It's a Chrome extension. You can install it in this page. I have already installed it, so I have already these two tabs appearing. The first thing that I used to do is just to try to record some interactions that I apply in the application. For example, I go to the Profiler tab, and here you can see in this header that you have this button. It's Start Profiling button. If I click it here, then I go to my application and I start to interact with it, log out, log in, then I increase my counter a couple of times, then again I do a login and log out. I go back to the developer tools and I stop it. And I can see that I see my profiler filling with the various graph. I have a flame graph where I can show for each interaction of my application what was the time that each component took to render. The key part is here. You can see one out of six. Six is the total number of commits, they are called. It means the interactions that I did with my application. I did a couple of, of click on login, logout, then a couple of click on my score counter, and then again login, logout. And in fact, I see that I have six interactions. The first two are for the login and the logout, and then the others. The first time I see that the application re-rendered and my score counter didn't re-render. In fact, I didn't touch anything, but it was the header re-rendering. If I click on the header, I can see that I see why there was a re-rendering and particularly because the props changed. In fact, I have my application where when I click here, a login handler is called and my out state, here it is, my out state increases. And indeed, if my out changes, sorry, and indeed, if my out state changes, my props of the header changes and the header will re-render. And that's why I can see here props changed. Then if I go to the third commit, I can see that if I click the up, the header didn't change. In fact, I just touched my score counter and what changed was the score counter component. It can tell me how long did it take to re-render, 0.3 milliseconds, and why it is rendered. And it rendered because the hook one changed. And if you want to know what, which one is the hook, the hook one, you go to the components, you click the score counter, and you can see that the hooks one is the one changing your state of the score counter, and at the moment the state is a five. If, for example, I go back to the profiler, and by the way, if you don't see why it is rendered, it's because you need to enable it in the settings. If you go to the components tab and click for the settings, you go to the profiler tab, and you need to be sure that this one is checked. Record why each component rendered while profiling. If I go back to my profiler, I interacted first with my header. I go to the first commit. I click the header. As we said, it changed because of the out state. Now, if I go back to the component, the header is already pre-selected. I can see also the props that are passed to the header and eventually even the state. I can change directly the props. If I change it to true and I click enter, we can see that now the user is logged in and the state of my component changes. You can see that now a log out label appeared, while if I set the state is logged to be false, you can see the login changed. This is the main 
uh, way I use the profiler. You can also rank the component in order to see uh, which one, which component was the one that took more to render. For example, in this case, it was the up, then there was the header. If I go to the second commit, the header, when I click there, was the one that needed more time to change. And then the score counter in the third commit. It's, it's just a, a way to order it differently with respect to here, where it is uh, hierarchically ordered. Here it is. A second part of the, this profiler that I think is very, very, very useful is uh, if I go to the settings again, I go to general tab, you can click this checkbox, and this is very useful in order to debug your application and understand where to change your code in order to improve the performances. Because you can highlight updates when component render. Basically, if you click it and you refresh the page, you can see that every time I interact with my application, it tells me with a grid border. If you watch this component, it will have a green border every time I interact with my application. And the same is there with the login. I can see that I have a, a, a green border to the header and even to the main section, not, but not to the component. In this way, you can see when you interact with your application, if it makes sense that a certain component is re-rendering. In this case, for example, I am going to change my code in order to detect when there is a performance improvement need. For example, in my score component, this is my score component. I'm going to decomment this code and just to introduce a comp computed score stats that takes very long to compute. I'm going to make it appear here. If I save it and I refresh my page, I can see that I have my stats that are shown here. This is just a for loop in order when the score counter re-render, this function will be executed and this will take long. If I reduce the number of zeros and I save it, I refresh my page, I can see that every time I increase my score, even my stats are re-rendered because that function is executed. But if that function, I'm going to increase again the number of zeros, takes long, you will see that even the score will take longer, longer to update. I clicked, I click now, and now the number 15 appears, and it's because this rendering cycle is waiting for the function to execute. If I go to the profiler now, I'm starting recording, I click this button a couple of times, then I click a login logout, I stop my recording, and I see that the first three interactions took quite a lot of time, while the last two where I clicked the login logout were very fast. So the idea is that you click on one of these, and you can see that there is the app component that did not re-render, but the child component, the score counter, re-rendered, and it took a long time, four seconds, six seconds, eight seconds, and it is because of this computed, intensively computed function. If I comment it again, we see that now, if I'm going to profile my application, this is no more present. Log out, log in, then I stop it. Obviously, now I have just this that takes some millisecond, less than one millisecond to re-render. And in this case, I can see that if I need this to be used, it needs to be inserted in a, in a, a certain hook in order to increase the performance. I understood now where I need to operate in order to improve the performance. I'm going now to create a video where I show you at least three concrete examples of how you can operate in order to improve the performances. Particularly, I'm going to show you how in this exact case and in similar cases, you can use the React memo, use memo and use callback in order to improve your performances. See you in the next video.